We're here with VM Blog at VeeamON 2022 in Las Vegas, and I'm here with Danny Allen, who's the CTO at Veeam. How are you doing? It's great to be here with you again. Um, well, we're here day two, and we've had an exciting keynote. Um, maybe you can tell us a, a little bit about what you talked about in the keynote related to the new features coming out in uh, version 12. Yeah, everyone gets excited by version 12, of course, and there are so many features now. We focused in on four different areas with it. We focused in on uh, disaster recovery as a service. We have the ability now to do CDP to the cloud, and we have a lot of customers, of course, that want that. The second thing we focused on was sending data into object storage directly without going through block storage. And so if you're at a remote you know, robo location, you can send data to the cloud, or if you're using object storage on premises, you can send your data there. The third thing we showed was full integration with Kubernetes, with uh, the Cast and K10 product so that you have a central management plane now for physical, for virtual, for cloud, and for all of your clusters and nodes, wherever they happen to be. And then the last thing we showed is mobility of data using containers. Now, snuck into the different demos that we did, we added a whole lot of other things that we didn't focus on, but multi-factor authentication, we now support Postgres both as a database for the product as well as, as protecting it. We added, we snuck in cloud agents. So I don't know if people picked up on those things, but there's a lot of goodness packed into V12. Yeah. And when's the uh, projected release date for that? Well, we're targeting the second half of this year. Um, we're now in beta two, so we go through this process of beta one, it's about six months prior to release, and then beta two, which is kind of the final polished version where we're ironing everything out, and then usually it's you know anywhere from three to four months after that that we go GA. But what we've been telling people is the second half of this year. And it seems that uh, security has been a big focus, uh, especially around malware, and um, can you, you had an interesting story that you told at the, uh, at the keynote, you know, I had no idea that you were a diver and uh, have done some recovery of a boat, and that was interesting. So maybe you can tell us a little more about that. Yeah, so I was just tying in the concept. We, I look for shipwrecks in my free time. I've actually found over a dozen different shipwrecks, but this particular one was the last U.S. Navy warship sunk in the Atlantic Ocean in World War II. And it had been lost for over 60 years, and this historian learned about it. He started looking for it, he wrote a book about it, but couldn't find it. And so we leveraged data, and actually the data, interestingly, was 15 years old, but we figured out a way to find that shipwreck using data. So always fascinating to me how we can use data to solve big problems like that. Another area that was a big focus was uh, ransomware. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how Veeam is uh, proactively going against ransomware? And The number one topic, without question, that we hear from our customers is ransomware is a problem for us. The, the threat landscape is incredible. Um, and so we have, over the last five years, been adding capability after capability after capability around this. And I always align it to what is known as the NIST cybersecurity framework, which is really five different categories. It's identify all of your assets, protect those assets, um, detect and monitor for any anomalous behavior. You should have a recovery plan in place and then you need to be able to restore. And so, talked a lot about it today, but we really focused in on kind of three areas of that. One is building security capabilities into our products. We showed using enhanced uh, access management to our platforms today, multi-factor authentication being one. We also talked a lot about securing the data, make it, making it immutable everywhere. Um, we did some demonstrations in the keynote around monitoring for anomalous behavior. Um, so looking at things like memory usage and CPU usage and looking at data change rates because we have a lot of capability, not just in backing up data, but monitoring the data flows across the organization. And then lastly, we showed, okay, great, you were hit by ransomware, now what? And so we have a product, Veeam Disaster Recovery Orchestrator, that allows customers to recover at scale because ransomware, we just did a study actually. When you get hit by ransomware, 40%, 47% of your data is encrypted on average. That's what we've been told by a thousand professionals. Right. And so we enable customers to recover at scale from ransomware using our products. And I think you also said that uh, there's a lot of companies that don't even, they, they're never able to get their data back, right? It's shocking to me how many organizations aren't able to get their data back. And I think one of the challenges that we have 
we learned in that study that only 16% of organizations actually test their data for recoverability. So that's not a good number. One of the things that we have to do is educate the market on the need, the essential need for the recovery of data. Now, interestingly, of those that were encrypted, there was a small percentage that were able to recover without paying the ransom, but, but very, very small. And I guess uh, maybe you can tell us about the future for Veeam. Uh, you know, where are you guys going and what direction uh, over the next year? Well, there's no question that data is exploding everywhere. So on-premises, in the cloud, Kubernetes, SaaS services. And we think there's a lot of runway for us to continue to grow the business. We've been growing over 20% year over year in Q1, last year, the year before. We think there's still a lot of runway to do data protection because data itself is increasing in magnitude. But the other area that we've been focusing on is doing more with the data, orchestrating recovery, analyzing that data. And we think there's still a lot of data management capabilities. So what I always say is, our goal is to be the most trusted provider of backup and recovery and data management solutions that deliver modern data protection. So how do you see the, uh, the data and the cloud growth? And uh, I know you guys mentioned Office 365 during the keynote. Yeah, the data in the cloud is, is changing the way that we leverage data. So one of the things I always highlight to people is that last year we sent 500 petabytes of data into the cloud. If you were to write that on CDs, that'd be two stacks of CDs that reach the International Space Station. That's crazy. This year, actually, we're going to move it at an exabyte of data if we continue on the current trajectory. So the cloud is changing the way that people are storing data, but it's also changing the way that people are using data. We had a 420% increase last year in data protection of cloud-hosted workloads. But you asked specifically about Microsoft 365. We're up to now 11 million, over 11 million paid users of Microsoft 365, and we're just scratching the surface. Microsoft just recently, at the end of last year, said there was 270 million daily users. Now, we're the largest protector of that data, and we're only doing 11 million, so there's still a lot of education to do. Um, but the key thing for our customers is they own their data on any cloud, every cloud, and they need to protect it. So for us, modern data protection is protecting data, sending it to the cloud, protecting workloads in the cloud, and then protecting SaaS services like Microsoft 365 um, and Salesforce.com and other SaaS services. Great, well this has been a great conversation and uh, I'm glad we had a chance to talk to you at uh, VeeamOn. Very much so, and I'm glad to be back in person again. Yeah.